and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to explain types of flow we have in pipeline or in riverbed or canal bed. We have mainly three types of flow, laminar, transition and turbulence flow. Okay, before explaining to you about uh, whether our flow is laminar, transition or turbulence, I would like to explain a Reynold number. Okay, uh, Ryan, what is Reynold number? Reynold number is an indicator which explains whether the flow is in pipeline is laminar transition or turbulence zone. Okay, in laminar flow, we have Reynold number less than 2000. It means that our flow is not disturbed. As you can see in the diagram, I have drawn this is flow in, flow out, and in the pipeline, is not, uh, the flow is not disturbed. The second one we have transition zone where the Randolph number is greater than 2000 but less than 4000. So as you can see in the diagram in transition zone our flow is a little bit disturbed. Flow in, flow out and the pipeline is disturbed as you can see the waves. The third one we have turbulence flow. The Randolph number in turbulence flow is greater than two, uh, 4000. Sorry. Greater than 4000 it means that our flow in pipeline is completely disturbed. So you, as you can see in the diagram, now I'm going to explain how to calculate a Reynolds number in pipeline as well as in the river bed. Okay, because we have two different formulas for the Reynolds number. Okay, Reynolds number in pipeline. Okay, Reynolds number in pipeline. The formula for that we have rho multiplied by v multiplied by dia divided by coefficient of viscosity. Okay, so this is density of fluid, this is a velocity of fluid, dia of a pipe, coefficient of viscosity. Okay, so in the pipeline, the Reynolds number in pipeline, the formula which we have, viscosity, density multiplied by uh, velocity multiplied by diameter divided by viscosity, uh, coefficient of viscosity. Okay, so we have an example. Let's say uh, the density of fluid we have 997 multiplied by velocity we have 3 meter per second and the diameter we have 0 0.1 meter divided by the coefficient of viscosity of the fluid we have 30, 0 0.38. In this example, we are using fluid, uh, we are using water as a fluid, okay. The Reynolds number would be, if we just uh, multiply by 7, 3, multiply by 0 0.1, divided by 0 0.38. So the Reynolds number we will get 7, 8, 7, 0. So which is less than, 2000 so it means we have laminar flow okay so the uh, this example is useful for for the pipeline okay let's say if we have to calculate Reynolds number in a river bed the formula would be slightly different Reynolds number re is equal to we have density of fluid velocity of fluid and now we have a length divided by coefficient of viscosity instead of diameter we have a length okay obviously we cannot calculate the whole length of river we just uh, need to take initial length you can take 10 meter 5 meter 3 meter whatever you like to take so the density would be same multiply by 3 Let's say I'm going to take initial 5 meters, okay, divided by viscosity would be also same and uh, I just have to plug the number into formula. So we are getting 39,355.26. So as you can see, this is a quite big number. It means that our flow is turbulence which is greater than 4000 and this this example is particularly for the riverbed or canal bed and this one 
the first one first one we have for the pipeline and the second one we have for the river the formula is slightly different as you can see in the first example we use diameter and the second example we use length and that's all for today thank you for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel